What's going on, everybody? What's up? Just for you, Kevin. Just for you. I wore my Trump shirt. Just for you, buddy. That means you're going to get good luck in this break. Guys, usually I don't break regular tops. Somehow I got two cases of it. I think it's the worst product in the whole entire world. I do have one more case. So let's please fill it up. <laughs> I'm hoping there's good autos. The checklist looks a lot better this year for autographs. I'm going to say it's a dumpster fire right off the bat because it's never a good break. But I got to uh, I, I gotta get rid of it. So <laughs> There's no baseball, so here we go. Top Series 1 Jumbo, guys. 723 on the 13th. Let's hope we have a monster in here, but I doubt it because it is top series one. Still don't know how the hell I got two cases of it. I know I didn't order this crap. But it got sent to me, so let's hope it's something good. I've actually broken in the past. We've actually gotten some big hits in it. It's just not something I like to do for breaks because it's mainly a set collector's product not a break but hey there is big hits in it <laughs> dumpster fire Sarah the product's a dumpster fire damn it like I said it's not generally good for breaks but there's nothing else out guys I got a leaf uh whatever that sparkle shit is I forgot the hell it's called coming Friday and the checklist is phenomenal just like leaf ultimate was so I'm excited for that. This didn't take that long to fill up, actually. Everyone was like, oh my god, it's taking forever. I just posted it Monday. It's really not taking it long at all. Guys, there's five left in limited men for case number two. Five left. Let's fill that. Not limited. I mean, plates and patches. Reminds me of limited. Let's fill that thing. Come on. Alright guys, box one. I did have a Windows update earlier. I let the guys know before. Um, if it goes out on me, I'm sorry. Usually it happens once or twice after I have a Windows update. I don't understand it, but it's been going on for two years. So Windows 10. All cards are shipping this, guys. Don't expect them to go out tomorrow. I usually do not ship all cards in this product, but I was like, you know what? The only way it'll probably fill is if I ship them all. It's going to take a while to sort. It's not going to be a half an hour sort. It'll probably be a three hour sort. But we'll have them shipped out to you. Uh, the dog's doing awesome, and he doesn't have a stupid name. Philly is an awesome name. You're not a Dallas Cowgirls fan, Kevin, so don't be busting on him. Should I name him Clemson? The Clemson Paul? Because he's got big paws, just say Clemson. <laughs> he's going to be like a 90 pound dog, man. My, my son was like, He's not going to grow. I was like, yeah, buddy, you just wait. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm six. He's not going to get bigger than me. I'm like, yeah, you just wait. Give it three months, dude. He's already going to be as tall. All right, guys, good luck. Top Series 1, let's go. Woohoo, baby. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. I was not reading all the base out. <laughs> it's going to be out the numbered and the, I guess, inserts. And autos. Jackie Robinson insert. Chris Sale, Otani on the tops now. I don't know. Usually there are uh, codes on those, but not this year. I'm sure there's variations and shit like that, guys. I'm not going to be able to figure that out. All cards are shipping to you. Don't worry, you'll get them all. It's going to take five days to sort it. <laughs> All right, Clemente, Nolan Ryan. All right, we got a Steve Stephen Duggar, number to twenty-five. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's like an orange camo or something. That's new. I actually usually open this product myself, and I sell the singles on eBay and everything like that. But this is a pain in the ass. It's not a hit. What am I trying to mark down? So, Chad, you got a Stephen Duggar orange camo. Uh, 25, pretty cool. It's new this year. 
All right, uh, I think that's an no, base card. A lot of inserts this year. All right, that's a gold Zimmerman. 150 years, I guess, of tops. I think that's a baseball. Maybe that's one per case. Not really sure about that, but I'll top load it anyway. <laughs> I didn't even write their sandwich, Jesse. I didn't call him cheesesteak. I called him Philly, as in the Phillies, buddy. As in the Phillies. But with a Y. Uh, evolution, that's going to go to uh, the non-spot, so the brave spot gets all those. All right, we're going to have Trevor Story. Not a bad not a bad way to start. We know Trevor Story ain't the best, but it was a mini team. Rockies, last, actually last mini team taken, going to Austin. Wrong card. Very nice. We'll take it. So Rockies are down. Uh, no, we just, first box, Xavier. First box of this garbage product. Is there anything that I'm supposed to be looking for, guys? Let me know. I haven't really followed the product in two years. Looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to sort because all the cards look exactly the same. Is there any like special uh, buybacks or any? Pr um, that's a gold. See, they're not numbered. Are these golds anything special? I'm just going to top load as a case, but that's the second one we got in this box, though. All right. Rivera on the greatest moments insert. We got Reynaldo Lopez. Not numbered. Gary Sanchez. Anyone been following this product at all? If so, let me know, and I'll try and look for it here for you. Let me just move that PM off my screen. Hold on, guys. It's distracting. I'm trying to break. It's so weird how, like, half the cards are sideways, and then they go back to normal. All right, Cubbies and Pirates inserts. We had uh, Tejan Walker. God, where's he been? He used to be a Seattle Mariner in the foil. Ichiro on the old school. Just a... Uh, Insert pull holes. We got a Cunha on the home run challenge. There we go. That'll sell. That's actually a really good home run challenge to get for the Braves. Scratch that off and redeem that shit, or you can sell it. Uh, I'll never do uh, leaf history of baseball ever again, Xavier. It's actually very terrible. That's actually really good right there, Charlie. I know you're a big Braves fan. You might want to scratch that and actually try and win that prize. Because then you get a, number, a real low numbered card of him if he hits the home run out there. No, it's terrible, Xavier. And I can only get that stuff I pre order. At least um, after the, the pre order goes, I can't go back and get it. I, I've opened it before. It's absolute garbage. The only thing that was ever good was the, was the Yankees one because we pulled a mantle. Other than that, that leaf, that history or whatever is crap. If you. Would you say, Sarah? Yeah, you probably just got lucky, dude. It's usually a really shitty product. I've, I've opened it a couple times, not just once. Sarah, go back and, would you say, annoy the crap out of me trying to open box? What boxes are you talking about? Because I, I missed what you, your comment was. All right, Tommy Fam, Number two, uh, no, oh, just the gold normals out of 2019 for the Rays. We got Acuna. Uh, Mike Trout and Hank Aaron. We got two on the left. One of the Braves in the insert. Jake uh, Bowers. Where's our relics at? It's two per box. One auto and two relics. Let's see how dull they are this year. All right, we got a tiny on the 150. I'll top load all that. I'm not going to keep doing them now, but I'll top load all those. Maybe they're worth more. Pedro. All right, first up, Jose Ramirez. Nice patch out of 150. I'm impressed, Tops. Is it manufactured, though, or is it actually normal? Retro hat logo patch card, so it's probably manufactured. Indians. 
It's going to go to Sean. Oh, yeah, they're all like that, Sarah. It's crazy. Pass me nuts. Teddy Williams, each row bench, just scrap team button, duel. Well, is it an auto, Xavier? That's pretty nice. Problem with Leaf, man. I like Leaf products. Just the reselling is so bad. Like it's, it, I, I don't know what collectors hate about it. Leaf actually has better than any product out there. Like when we when we break that Leaf Flash baseball guys, like we did Ultimate Baseball, it hits way better than any of the products out there. It gets all the big guys. I mean, I don't get it. Derek Jeter, Zach Cozart on the foil, Francisco Lindor, and we got a Cooney on the insert. <clears throat> I don't understand why the resale sucks so bad. Like, it's worse than Panini, and they're both unlicensed cards. Like, Leaf Pearl and all that other Leaf stuff, um, it's really well. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. All right, Blake Snell, number to 2019. Again, I'll top load them. I just don't have a lot out right now. Evolution insert. Going to the brave spot. Is there anything specific to look for in this guy? Is it like base wise, it's like a case hit or anything. Did they do anything special this year? Because I really don't know. Well, that's cool, man. You hit good in it. I, like I said, every time I've broken that product, it's been it's been garbage. I stopped buying it. It's overpriced. Ben Zerberst. Oh, there we go. That's what we that's what we know about tops. The one colored relics out of tops. There we go. But at least it's Nolan Ryan. Astros, another team that went to a mini going to Bob. A lot of Nolan Ryan stuff in this on all the teams. Mets, Astros, Texas. And Angels. He's got a lot of Nolan Ryan stuff. A lot of autos of him in this box. I'm hoping at least hit one. All right, that's it for box one. On the box two. Hey guys, it's felt that many for plates and patches. Five left, only twelve fifty. Break that tonight. I got one more plates and patches to post tonight. That's it. One more tops to post. And then Leaf Flash baseball comes out Friday. I actually like the Leaf Flash stuff. A lot of people don't, but first year for baseball. Well, first year for all sports. Alright, looks like we got a thick relic, so maybe that's a one of them pins or something. Hopefully it's an autograph one. Yeah, I just don't mess with it, Xavier, because like I said, I've, I've broken it the past two years, and really, not this year, it's, it really has not been, been good at all. Uh, I didn't post an empty box. We got an empty box in football, dude. Apparently, they're sending me something. that will probably be garbage. We'll find out whatever penny wants to send us to hopefully make us good because I'll tell you what, man. That post got to them. They blocked me on Twitter. They blocked me on Instagram. They blocked me on Facebook just for posting a video saying, can you please take care of this? What is this shit? Uh, everyone started tagging them like crazy. Everyone started sharing the videos. YouTube shows no views in the video, so I guess I got YouTube to block how many views. I don't know, man. It's, it's pretty kind of shady. And my distributor called them and said, hey, you need to you need to do something about this because you don't make a $300 box with one card in it empty in a case. You just don't do that. The case was decent, but there's probably a big rookie missing out of that or something because we only got two big rookies in that case. So it's been averaging three to four. So, yeah, it pisses me off, dude, for you guys. I, I mean, for me, it is what it is. Josh Harrison, number two, 2019. Um, but I'm not going to just let that go. If it was like a score box, yeah, then who cares? We had a score box with no autos before. Marion Rivera in a reprint, Frank Thomas. But never have I had a high-end box with one card in it missing the box. Or missing the card. That just doesn't make sense. It's bullshit. But yeah, they, apparently they're sending me something. Once it comes, I will go live with it. Let everyone see the piece of shit card they send us, because I'm sure it's going to be terrible. All right, Sean Doolittle in the foil. 
We got a uh, Babe Ruth on the insert, Roberto Alomar, and a Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies on the one striped relic. Not numbered, Cubbies going to Chad. So, so far, Tops has not changed in this product. Still the same shit. I like the cheap product, so can't expect too much from it. There is some, like I said, there are some big hits in this, guys. There's some big cut autos as well. Brewers insert. All right, Ted Williams. We got a uh, Tuvalala, whatever hell his name is, for Seattle on the foil. Derek Jeter. All cards are shipping, so any SPs or anything like that, guys, you will get them. The list is big this year. It used to be easy to figure them out because they were pouring Gatorade over each other's head. Now it's totally different. I don't know either, Rebecca. Just maybe because you're bored. You just want something to do. I don't know. Mike Trout on the insert. Tukes, Tuki. A tiny insert. Unbelievable. Roger Maris. Jose Ramirez. There's a Rod Crew on the gold. I'll tell you what, if you buy personal cases and you post the cards up on eBay and you sell the singles on it, you can actually make a lot of money off a case. It just takes forever. It's just time consuming. People sell singles for a dollar or two a piece. I mean, they do make money off of it. I mean, look how many cards there are. All right, Lou Trevino, number two, 2019. Cal Joseph on the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, foil. Bob Feller on the insert for Cleveland. Anthony Rizzo insert. You can actually make a lot of money selling the base on this. You really can. That's what's crazy. People are, this is a scent collector product. Uh, when, did, when, did, when did baseball ever have absolute, Mark? That came out of, uh, that, they didn't have a product for that. They came out of whatchamacallit, that they do that multi-product thing. Kofax, Trey Turner, Nick Williams, Acuna. I don't remember ever having absolute baseball. Where the hell's our auto at? Uh, non Xavier, he's not really uh, a big house side dog yet, man. I'm freaking trying to... Trying to get him to freaking piss out there, dude. I'm so, I hate puppy pads, man. I hate this part of having a dog. Adam Jones. All right, Mookie Betts, Ted Williams. Going to go to the team to the left, which is Ted Williams. Trey Turner. And we got a Christian Yelich. Another good home run header on the home run challenge for Milwaukee. These cars actually sell pretty good, guys. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Um, or you can take up the code and try and win a card. You just got to guess the day they're going to hit a home run. They make a print run for that whole month. How many they actually hit? I won one last year. I forget who it was. Chris Davis from uh, the Athletics actually won. I picked the day and he hit one. But it was out of like 30 or 20 something. I forgot. He hit like 20 some home runs. Or it's how many people guessed it. They do the print run out of it. Something like that. I have it somewhere. All right, D. Gordon. All right. We got a Mike Piazza for the Mets and the heavy ass. Manufactured medallion. It does have the 150 gold on there too. It's number to 150. New York Mets, another team nobody wanted. Going to Kevin. It's all the mini teams in. How ironic. Mets down. Alright, so we've gotten two relics in this so far. Where the hell's our freaking. Oh, don't even go through all these cards again. Definitely didn't see one. Another gold of Colin Moran. Roger Maris. We got Jeff McNeil. And there he is. It's the gold version, a 150 year gold version of Tyler Ward for the Angels. Um, I know it means something. Going to Bob. Makes it worth more having that on there. Give me one second, guys.
he's tearing that toy up. At least he killed the squeaker. All right, guys, that's it for box two. Box three. Really not a lot of inserts this year. Maybe Hobby has more, I'm not sure, but there's really not that many. Unless I'm just going over them. I don't mean to. So that's nuts. They're only doing one one numbered gold card per pack now. Maybe two. I think it's been one, right? It used to be like five or six. I used to have the top load a bunch of cards. Not this year. I mean, I haven't, I haven't broke this in two, probably two years. So I know I didn't order it. Just gave it to me. All right, foil of Arcia Francisco. Oh, shit, we got a one-on-one -on -one nameplate, though. We'll take it. Uh, Derek Jeter and Torres, Dale Murphy. And how about a J.D. Martinez one-on-one -on -one nameplate letter patch? Very nice. These are hard to hit, actually, and they do sell very well, but it's from the All-Star game. Fuck. Oh, Red Sox. It says Red Sox on there. There we go. I was like, where the hell did he get traded to? I forgot. Very nice hit going to Gregory. See, Mark, you should have bought the Red Sox. Should have bought the Red Sox. Very nice. They actually sell anywhere from 80 to 150 bucks usually. In most cases. That's actually a really good player too. So, so one on one patch. Let's take it. They usually don't come on hobby. I've never seen them in jumbo. All right, we got a Corey Dickerson, number two, 2019 for the Pirates. Al Kaline on the reprint. Miles Malakis on the insert. They were in a mini too, right? Weren't the Red Sox in a mini or no? Thought they were. Orioles Cannon Yards. We got a Lopez Pablo or Pablo Lopez for the Marlins. Uh, Javier Baez. Yeah, they, they usually they usually sell pretty high because somebody's always trying to collect the whole set of them, so they pay out the ass for them. I just know because I've hit them because I usually open this product myself the past years. Like I said, you can make money off it doing a whole case yourself. It's just a lot of work. I don't have that time no more since I have all these kids. <laughs> all right, Kobe Allard on the 150 gold. Yvonne Rodriguez, Blake Snell, and a Luke Gehrig for the Spankies. On the medallion, number two, 150. Going to Jordan. I'm pretty sure you're a Yankees fan too, right, Jordan? Very nice. Brandon Crawford sold for 123, so there we go. So Brandon Crawford sold for 123, and J.D. Martinez is a lot better player. You probably get 150 to 200 for that, Greg. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but coming from top series one, that's a freaking good, it's a good hit. <laughs> They're not easy to hit, man. I always hit them for some reason when I open tops by myself, but it's usually hobby, never jumbo. All right, Bryce Harper, we have a Cody Allen on the... Foil, Jose Abreu, Trouty. So we'll take it. We'll probably get 150 for it. Yeah, for how cheap it is, that's a huge hit. I mean, like I said, they're not they're not easy to hit. They're not like one per case by any means. I mean, it's only, it's one letter per. So there's a bunch of one of ones, but it's one letter per for the last game. Miguel Cabrera. 
We got a uh, Loriano. Ryan Healy on the black, number to 67 for Seattle. Said there's good there's good hits in this. So you just gotta get them. I hope in one case I had um it was a hobby case and it's either only one relic or one auto per. That's why I don't like doing hobby, especially as a break. At least we're guaranteeing auto per box in this. Um, but I had like seven really good autos in mine. All right, we have a Matt Carpenter on the gold, Vlad Junior or Vlad Senior, Aaron Nola, and a nice. Nobody won at Houston. Another mini spot, and we got a gold Altuve. Sarah, I'm shocked you didn't jump in that many, actually. You're a big Houston uh, woman. 45 of 50. Very nice. So not a bad case so far, guys. I'm not going to complain about it. Like I said, it's top series one. You got to go on the bob. You got to uh, take what you get. But so far, so good, actually. It hasn't been bad. There aren't any other ones I've hit with breaks. Sideways cards. All right, Burt by 11 and Juan Soto. On the top snail insert. We got a uh, Kirby Yates on the gold, number to 2019, Ty Cobb. And the old uh, De Los Santos for the Phillies and the foil and Kyle Tucker. So Kyle Tucker's in this too. First rookie auto for Houston. You guys don't know anything about Kyle Tucker. He's going to sell for a shit ton in Bowman. He's not even squeaking that bad, Xavier. He he broke the squeaker and whatever. To, I don't know what the hell he's doing on now. Damn it! Stop touching her toys. He broke the squeakers and all his toys already. Pretty much, it's only been like four days. And toys are expensive now too. All right, Scooter Jennett on the foil, Robin Yant, Albies, and Kyle Schwarber on the home run challenge for the Cubbies. And I'll top load them because some of them actually sell pretty high. It's a good player. All right, guys, not bad for three boxes. Box four. What are you chilling on? Give me that. What is that? Well, it was a Lego. <laughs> I don't know, Xavier. Harper has us narrowed down on another team. I forget who it is. I don't want him. I really do not want Bryce Harper on my team. I don't want Machado either. I don't want either of them, dude. They're not. They're not superstar players. They have they, none of them bat over three hundred. So I, I, they're not superstars. Why everyone wants to pay them? I, I, the money's ridiculous, dude. Sixty million a year. Like out of here with that. They're not even worth it. Not even worth twenty-five million a year. They're probably worth fifteen to twenty, dude. They have they have good parts of the year every year, but they're they get on fire. But they they're not they're not like Mike Trout, dude. Mike Trout plays good all year long. I I want Nolan Arenado over both of them. That's why I want the Phillies to go after. Nolan Arenado is a better player than both of them, in my opinion. Yeah, Xavier Machado had his best year because he knew he was up for a contract. He played good when he went on the Dodgers. He ain't gonna be good in Philly, dude. He'll be he'll be a two sixty hitter, man. I, I don't want him. I, I really don't. I don't want him or Bryce Harper. All right, Jordan Zimmerman, Zimmerman in two, uh, 2019. We got Tony La Russa for the A's. Check up the Grom. I really don't want either. Nobody wants to pay that much money for them. Did everyone listen? If they were worth, if they were worth superstar status, 
they would have already been signed. And Harper will not end up on a Twins on a two-year contract. Derek, he wants like a 10-year contract because he wants his guaranteed because they, everyone knows he ain't going to last. He's not He's not good enough. Luis Castillo, Hank Aaron, Ben Attendee. And they, Anthony Rizzo, postseason. Number to 99. Cubby strike again, going to Chad. That'll sell pretty good because it's a postseason relic. Um, uh... Actually, Xavier, that's false. Harper is not better than Stanton. If you look at home runs, Stanton was the best, one of the best home run hitters in baseball. Um, I Stanton last year did not have a good year in New York. I think New York was too much for the kid. On the Marlins, he he was one of the best hitters in baseball. I did not think Harper is better than Stanton by any means. And you also got to look at the years too. Stanton, Stanton's got what two or three more years on on Harper. Or is it one year? One or two years? Dude, Harper... The problem with Harper is he goes through streaks, dude. Like, uh, Inguino Suarez on the gold. He goes through streaks, so... That's the thing. Eddie Matthews, Tim Anderson, and the foil, and Carlos Correa. At least Stanton's consistent, dude. Last year, he wasn't. I, I don't think the Yankees were a good fit for him. When he got signed there, I was like, he's going to fail. He came from... You can't go from Miami... Miami to New York and expect to be like a god. Everyone was so happy to get him. I'm like, eh, he's just, he stood out because he was the only good player on Miami. But he can hit the baseball. I mean, better than anybody, far, farthest wise. Whit Merrifield in the 150. Clemente, Trey Mancini. And how about a Mark McGuire for Oakland? And nobody wanted Oakland. I made him cheap because nobody ever wants Oakland, and their checklist is one of the best. Guys, top series one is not hitting bad. <laughs> Going to Gregory. Gregory, you're having to break your life in this city product. There you go, brother. What the hell's that? What are you eating, dude? Oh, he took the squeaker out. Very nice. I don't know if that's numbered or not. It's not, but we'll take it. I, I, I couldn't believe no one took Oakland for 35 with that checklist. You got Ricky Henderson. You got... Uh, Mark McGuire, Eckersley, there's a couple other people in there. I was like, Jesus, now does nobody want them? Unreal. Just because they see the name Oakland, they don't want to touch it. All right, David Ortiz, we got Underwood Jr. on the foil. Bob Gibson. Bryce Harper, too bad it's, too bad it's not really autographed there. <laughs> there you go, Jordan. There's your Bryce Harper. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's crazy. I I, I knew Oakland's gonna hit. I mean, even a Ricky Henderson auto would double the product, double the price of buying it. Mark McGuire, you'll get good money for it, man. He still sells well. All right, Corey Kluber on the one hundred and fifty gold. Killebrew, Trouty, Aaron Judge. I think the top snails are just uh, they're like the kid reporters and Panini. Hey man, I'll tell you what. This is just by looking at the checklist. This does have better autos than any year of tops ever. Tukey, Marischal, Steve Carlton, and Corey Seager, number two, uh, sixty-seven for the Dodgers. I went upstairs. Probably go shit on my floor. At least it's hardwood. And having a puppy, I haven't had one in seven years. It's like it's like having another child in the house. All right, we got a uh, Chris Ionetta number two, 2019. Yeah, Seeger should be back. Yes. Uh, we got Nick Birdie on the foil. We got a uh, Bob Feller Evolution and Will Clark. Not, I mean, there's a couple scrubs in this, but usually Topps regular has a, a shit ton of rookie scrub autos, and that's all that comes out. But this one was actually very loaded with vets. Alrighty, we got a uh, Danny Jensen on the foil. We got a Tom Seaver reprint, Pedro Martinez, and Javier Baez on the home run challenge.
to find and see how small our tube is. All right, gold of Steven Duggar. Piazza, another Piazza. All Mets and a Dodger. And Houston strikes again. 22 of 25, Jose Altuve on the cap patch. Very nice. Houston has a shit ton of hits in this. That's why they're priced where they were. This is a retro hat patch card. It's just commemorative, though. It's not game used. That's what sucks. So, uh, Houston is Bob. Some of them still sell well, though. All right, guys, box five. What's up, Brooks? How you been, buddy? Long time no talk. I don't know who Brooks is. He was number one overall pick in 1992, right, for the Cubbies. He gets some breaks here and there. Alright guys, box five. Hasn't been a bad break at all. I'm actually kind of impressed with top series one this year. Just wish there was more hit, more autos. It's been decent. Kind of went up in the second case myself now. I just don't have the time to resell it all. Or <laughs> I would. Alright, we have a uh, Ranger Suarez on the gold. Babe Ruth, Nolan Arenado, uh, Yelich and Robin Yant for the Brewers on the 150 gold. How you been, man? Just chilling, my friend. All right, we got Cesar Hernandez, number two, 2019. Rick Purcello, foil. Vlad Guerrero for the Nationals. Eric Hosmer on the inserts. We'll post my last case of this tonight, guys. It's one of the time yet, but I will have a poster for you. Angel Stadium. Yankee Stadium. Toronto Blue Jays. Juan Marichal. We got Joey Votto in the foil. Starling Marte. And a Kyle Schwerber in the tops now. Again, I think they're just like kids reporters. And all cards are shipping, guys. It might take a day or two. It is a lot. All right, we got uh, Brad Keller on the gold. Eckersley, uh, Jesus Aguilar, and Robinson Cano, Mr. Steroid this year. For Seattle. Don Xavier, not numbered. Stinks because he was so good until he did that. Got caught for them. Caught for them roids. All right, we got Rich Hill to 2019. The Astros, Verlander, and Nolan Ryan. 
Jeff McNeil on the insert. Really no insert sets this year in Tots, which is kind of weird. Usually they have a bunch. And a Braves. Stadium. And they're just normal cards. Uh, Steven Souza Jr. on the foil. We got a Ty Cobb on the reprint. Bonos Jackson and Adrian Beltry for Texas going to Sarah on the bat relic. Not numbered. Only Ranger you have left that's decent. Actually, he retired, didn't he? <laughs> Any sideways cards on a row like that. Uh, Miles uh, Mikolos on the 150 gold. Steve Carlton, Eddie Rosario, and Zach Godley. I don't know how he's a legacy of baseball. Jeez Louise, tops. Where do you get? Where do you find these headlines for some of these guys? It's not an absolute terrible pitcher. He's definitely no legacy. Jeez Louise. Arizona going to Anthony. That's what I'm saying, man. Cano is selling. Uh, he, dude, he's a Hall of Famer. I don't know why. I'm a mediocre. He's borderline Hall of Famer. He still has a lot of years left. All right, man, that sucks. He, that sucks. He PD'd it up, man. But, hey, you know what? It happens, dude. And it happens more than we think in all sports, not just baseball. And these guys get away with it. Tom Brady's probably all freaking PD'd up. They'll never, they'll never drug test him, though, because he's the face of freaking football. They get away with it, dude. Nick Ahmed on the one or on the one fifty. The Topps Company's greatest moments. That's going to the brave spot. Jake Lamb foil. Mark McGuire. It's a shame, man. But I still think Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds and Stokes should all be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care what they say. Bonds is still the greatest hitter of all time. I think how many times he he got intentionally walked. He was a Hall of Famer before he took him, man. Which, People argue with me all day, but the dude got the dude got walked more times than anyone in a career and still had the most home runs in history. Adam Engel on the foil, Tommy Lasorda, Cody Bellinger, and Shoa Tani. Home run challenge. Very nice. That'll probably sell well because the dude hits a lot. And he's just a DH next year, so for the Angels. I mean, they knew they knew when the baseball strike went on, McGuire and Sosa and then Bonds, they they knew they were doing roids, dude. They told them to do it, bring the game back, and it did. Because when it went on strike, dude, no one was caring about baseball anymore. It was really, the sport was going downhill. All right, Justin Upton on the 150. Uh, Pedro Martinez, Max Scherzer. Oh, that would, wouldn't that be a sick auto to get right there? Atani, Pujols, and Mike Trout. These Tops Now cards are bullshit, though. They're all digital. How sick would that be to have that card in your hand? Well, I don't understand the tops now. I don't know why everyone likes them so much. They're digital baseball cards. They sell for hundreds of dollars. Yeah, here we get intentionally walk bases loaded. I mean, right there it says something, Xavier. Dude, steroids are not. This one feels super heavy. Steroids are not. Barry Bonds is by far the best hitter in baseball, and he killed Babe Ruth. Dude, Babe Ruth would come drunk. That was his steroid. God knows what they were taking back then. I mean, obviously the drugs were different, but dude, they were all, they've always been around. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what Mantle was taking. Man, Mantle was injecting himself with shit. There's a movie on it called Fifty One. He was injecting himself with shit. I mean, these all these old timers were. Hank Aaron was probably taking something. I mean, they were all doing something, man. You just you're just not a super like Mike Trout. I think he's on something. Look at his freaking neck, dude. It's like. They're, these guys are on shit. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't not put someone in the Hall of Fame because they got caught for it. Like Roger Clemens will never make the Hall of Fame. The dude beat it in court. Yes, he probably did steroids, but he's a freaking pitcher. He was a pitcher. We're gonna get him for steroids? Come on. Maybe he, you know, did better with his injuries because of it. But Brett Favre used to get injected in football. With his, with his injuries, I don't know what it was, but he got injected so he could keep playing. 
I mean, dude play with broken finger, for God's sakes, and throw a football. He'd go in the locker room, get injected, and come back out. So you can't... He'll be a Hall... I think he is Hall of Fame, right? You can't, uh... You can't hold that against them, man. Everybody, they're all on, on something. There's always something ahead of the machines and the tests that they're on. Especially these new guys coming up. They're just ahead of the game on some kind of natural substance. It's nuts. But yeah, you're exactly right. Barry Bonds would get intentionally walked, but bases loaded. How do you not put a guy in the Hall of Fame that has that that problem? Carlos Rodon on the 150. We got uh, Ernie Banks, Aaron Nola. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, dude. And I root for them. I mean, they were my childhood heroes growing up. I'm, I'm always going to have their backs. I don't care about the roids. I really don't. I wish they would let them use roids. It make baseball more exciting. I would love to see five homers a game. Let them, all, let them all be on it. I don't give a shit. It still doesn't make your contact work. I mean, you, you might have more power, but you still got to have the hand-eye contact, which is pretty tough. You got like two seconds to hit. Josh Donaldson on 2019. Romano. Ballpark Evolution. Luke Weaver. It's crazy, man. There's like no numbered cards this year in this. Jonathan Villier, the 150. We got a uh, Mazeroski. Whit Merrifield. There's no like out of 25. Oh, we did get that out of 25 card. That was probably the case hit on the parallel. Usually there's like a pink card, but that's that's probably it. All right, this one's really heavy. Roberto Alomar for the Blue Jays, a commemorative, not numbered. Uh, who did the Blue Jays with Dimebacks going to Anthony? This one's super heavy. Maybe it's real gold. <laughs> probably not, but it goes a lot heavier than the other ones. Yeah, he has. A, yeah, Barry Bonds does have a bunch of stolen bases. I'm saying he's a ball player, dude. I don't understand it. I, the, the, they got to get these voters of the Hall of Fame out of there and start fresh, dude, because Pete Rose, all those guys deserve to be in. It just makes me angry. Abisel Garcia in the foil. We got Miguel Cabrera in the reprint. Eddie Rosario. Well, he'll probably not get you too far with homers, but Freddie Freeman for the Braves. He can hit them, but... It's going to be harder to guess his than the other guys we pulled. All right, let's end it with one big auto, guys. We had had a pretty decent case. I'm not going to lie. It was not bad for what it is. Two big gold out of 50, McGuire, and a couple nice relics here. Lindor under 150, Ted Williams, Justin Verlander, a tiny tops now. What amazes me is we didn't get any rookie autos. I don't think God, you know, Godly played last year. Red Sox. All right, Charlie Blackman foil, Cal Ripken on the reprint, Joey Votto, Nicholas Castellonis. God, I haven't seen him in anything in forever. Detroit, going to Jordan. I haven't seen him in a long time, anyway. He's supposed to be one of the next best things. And there's Nick Castellanos. No, he's Nicholas. Trying to be proper. Trevor Bauer on the gold, 150 years. Frank Thomas, Jake Bauer's foil, and a Chris Bryan insert. There's really no big rookies yet, at least not in this. There's Kyle Tucker, but other than that, there's really no big rookies in this product at all. I'm hoping that changes soon, because we can't go all year with just Kyle Tucker. Mike Trout, uh, Barria, Mancini. He's probably the biggest rookie auto in this product. Unless I miss somebody. Glaber Torres. Oh, 
Oh, we got a redemption. That could be huge, guys. And tops, a redemption's big in top series one. That could be huge. Maybe it's a dual Tralatani auto. I'm not trying to see it. Did I say POTUS on it? There's no Babe Ruth with Merrifield. Here we go, guys. Postseason performance auto. So that could be big. Autograph red. So probably number to five, guys, of Chris Taylor. Chris fucking Taylor. Are you kidding me? I don't even know who he, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> who the fuck is Chris Taylor? Is that a Dodger? Oh my god, Tops, you got me all excited over nothing. Over nothing. That's Tops, or, or that's freaking uh J Dodgers, right? I don't even know. I can't even tell you. Oh, what garbage. It's probably his first auto, though, so maybe it's worth something. Uh, I was hoping for like a Chris Bryan or something big. Felipe Vasquez, number 2019. Gary and Pujols, but can go to the Yankees. Atani on the insert. I didn't want to end that way. At least it's a red auto. It's probably out of 25 or less. It is Dodgers. That's what I thought. Why is he in this? What, what did he do that was big in the postseason that I missed? I don't remember him doing anything. Well, another mini team. Go to Jesse. There you go, Jesse. A red auto. I think they're out of five. Might be out of 10 or 25. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Taylor's and Tops Finest. I don't remember even pulling him. Maybe that's how I knew he was a Dodger. Is he their catcher? He's the catcher, right? I can't. Dude, that's. That's what's sad. I really didn't watch baseball last year. I was going through too much of my divorce to pay attention, man. Not bad, guys. I, I'll have to admit it. It's actually, it's actually a really good product this year. I, I can't trash it. For the, I mean, I understand not everyone's going to hit, but it actually hit pretty well. All right, guys. Let's do the uh, $30 break credit. There's actually some good stuff in it. Oh, he's outfield? Yes, yeah, so I don't even know. I, I don't have any idea who he is. Was he a home run hitter in the playoffs or something? Why would you give him a performance auto? All right, so we have Braves, Orioles, all the mini teams hit. White Sox, pretty much. Reds, Royals, uh, Brewers, Twins, Bills, Pirates, Giants, Cardinals. Rays, Nats. All right, guys. They had a four, four lower door roll nine times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Going to the Rays. Going to Sean. So there you go, Sean. Three eyes back, buddy. Let me know when to use it. All right, guys. Overall, I'm actually not upset with the product this year, and a lot less uh, numbered cards. These will be all the cards that get top loaded, um, along with the ones I've already did. Uh, but I'll go over the the hits real quick. We had uh, Chris Taylor postseason performance autograph red parallel for the Dodgers. Nick Castellanos for Detroit. Don't worry about those. It's not a hit. We got uh, Roberto Alomar for the Blue Jays. We got. Uh, Zach Godley for D-backs, Adrian Beltre for Texas, Robinson Cano for the Mariners, Altuve number 25 for the Astros, really nice Mark McGuire for the Athletics, Anthony Rizzo postseason number 99, nice Altuve number 50 on the auto, Lou Gehrig on the um, commemorative patch, J.D. Martinez one of one all-star patch, Tyler Ward with the 150 uh, anniversary on there of baseball, auto number to 150 for the Angels. Mike Piazza for the uh, Mets, number to 150. Anthony Rizzo on the striped one, not numbered. Nolan Ryan for the Astros. For the Indians, we had Jose Ramirez, number to 150. And we started off with a Trevor Story on the uh, 35th anniversary of uh, the old tops from 84 to now. So it wasn't terrible. And then that uh, Stephen Duggar, number 25, that's probably the lowest number uh, case hit. All right, guys, I'll post uh, 
final and last case number two, and then we want to leave flash baseball. Really nothing else until the end of February, early March. I think early March stuff comes out. I think Heritage comes out end of February. Other than that, there's nothing. So uh, move on to that, and uh, hopefully we can flip the next case a little bit quicker. Three days wasn't too bad for top series one. I thought it was going to take longer, so I wasn't upset about it. All right, guys, take care. Have a wonderful evening. Give me a couple days to get this out because I do have to sort it all. Uh, I'll try and start on tomorrow, though, if not Friday. Uh, so I'll probably go out to you on Monday. All right, appreciate you as always. Take care. Have a wonderful evening, and I will uh, talk to you soon.